Let I'm, me ask you this question. All right. So, okay. All right. Growing up, you're in the house and you have all this, you're surrounded with sweets and stuff like that. Yes. You know, how active were you? You know, even as a you know kid with all that surrounded with. with so, <clears throat> a little. I mean, I was black, so I played football and ran track. Mm -hmm. You know, we did that, but. Is but this something because, because you wanted to do, or this is something because your parents put on it you? It was just because. Or who was like, your role model for that? Well, it was like, I mean, you know, you're, you know, you're sixth grade, seventh grade, mm -hmm. like you want to be cool. You want to be like all the other kids. Yeah, you want to be cool, so yeah. you like, you start doing stuff, and then you find something that you like a little bit, and yeah. so you're doing that. And how about mm -hmm. yourself, Lou? Um, like I said, we didn't have a lot of sweets or snacks in the house and everything like. But my my culture is Latino, so uh, all the big food, like all the carb heavy. Yeah, but I as for like, okay, so you're eating all that stuff. Yeah, but like, then, like you know, uh, were you active as a child? Yeah, yeah. And who was your role model for that? My mom. Your mom was. Yeah. What, what did she do? She always when we got old enough, she took us all to the gym. But when we were all small, because we all grew up around, mm -hmm. we were like a couple years apart from each other. Yeah, always go on hikes. Yeah. Yeah. That's always going to the yeah, park. Yeah, always going yeah. to the you know anywhere to just walk around. Uh -huh. run up the hills and go run go take off and go do something yeah. and so f for me you know uh i didn't i didn't have any of that i i didn't i didn't uh even um like like I, as a child you know like i was always outside playing around you know, right. we had a huge yard you know but, right 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 but as, as an extent of going out and exercising you know because i had someone in my life going out and exercising no that's not a thing like right. i didn't make my first team uh, uh, like a sports team until I was in seventh grade. So mm -hmm. what, what, uh, what, what? No, no, no how, same. How, how old is that? Like 13. 13, 14 13, 14 years old. Years yeah, old yeah, 13, 14 years old. Yeah, around yeah, there. Same. Like that. So, you know, uh, and I always hated that, you know. Like looking back, I've always hated that as an adult. I'm like, you know what? Now that I have my son, like I'm not going to do that for him, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always wish I would have had someone uh, more active, you know, because, I mean? you know. See, that's kind of weird because mom was a cheerleader. Mm-hmm. But she didn't do anything like my parents didn't do anything overtly active when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. My dad is from the country, so he was always doing that country stuff where yeah, you're just, oh, hard uh, labor, just labor, hard labor, labor like doing yeah. stuff like that mm -hmm. around the house. But that doesn't. But if you see if a kid sees somebody doing that, like I never thought about that as my dad working out. Mm -hmm. You know, I just thought. My dad was Chores. strong. Yeah, yeah, just stuff you yeah do. just just mm -hmm. and, and and but the difference is like when I start when I did start playing sports, my mom was like, "Well, if you're gonna do it, you need to have a weight trainer. You need to do this." So they would they oh, would nice. kind of introduce those yeah. things to you, so that because they didn't do because they yeah. didn't do them mm -hmm. they they didn't do them proper. Yeah. So like I I was raised by my aunt all the way until I was about ten, and then I ended up moving with my oldest brother to North Carolina. You know, uh, um, and then, like, he was in the military, so, uh, you know, uh, like, the when I was, uh, like, the early on years that I can remember living with him and stuff like that, he was always gone training and working and stuff like that. And then my sister-in-law, uh, you know, she was a cheerleader in, in, in high school and things like that, but then, you know, she... Uh, at the time, I think she was 24 years old, taking care of me, my stepsister, and then and then my oldest niece, at, you know, newborn at the time. Right. Like that. So she wasn't active or anything right. like that. She had enough on her plate. You know? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and With so, three kids, yeah. So, yeah. like, you know, when I uh, finally uh, joined uh, my, my – uh, I, so I could uh, – I remember that uh, I had to wait until I was in seventh grade. You know, right, because uh, uh, we, we uh, the school I was going to, they wouldn't let you join a team event or a sporting event until you were in seventh grade. So I remember that, and I didn't make shit. You know, I didn't make no basketball team, <laughs> I didn't make no football team, I didn't make no baseball team. You know, like that. The only thing I could make at the time was just track, and, <laughs> and I sucked at track. You know, like I don't know how you can suck at track. Yeah, right. It's just running. It's just running. You didn't do anything else. You just run. <laughs> but I just remember I just wanted to be on a team, and I was. Was so happy that I, I, I like I was uh, that was that was enough that, that yeah. Yeah. it truly was <laughs> you know what I mean and and like I didn't make no uh, you know hundred meter dash no four by four none of none of that no no hurdles no none of that thing. they just Yay. put me they put me on long distance cross <laughs> like country they, just long distance <laughs> run the mile just get us whatever points you could get right. <laughs> that every, like like long distance in track is like the version of special teams for football <laughs> 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 
you know if you I know mean, you know yeah right? bro <laughs> so that, that's what it was you know what i mean it's like you know, i was just, like okay well, you know the events going just on go the out whole there meet. And, and get in someone's way you know <laughs> yeah. the events going on the whole meet you're like yeah, yeah just run around but yeah. i was i was i was i was very happy that I, I i was finally doing a sport and things like that you know and like it's not like my sister really knew uh you know what to do or how to really uh nourish or, or, or you know me and stuff in that way of fitness right. and things like that but i just did it you know what i mean then obviously you know uh in uh eighth grade i ended up finding wrestling and then it's a uh, it's history since then you know I, now i got a business you know that stems off of it but you know, you know in all fairness mm -hmm. even the kids did like like the you know crazy little league dads and all that stuff mm -hmm. most of those most kids that even play sports don't have the parents that actually understand like yeah. how to get them to where they need to be. I, right. I try to encourage uh, the parents a lot, you know, uh, for, for the, the, the kids that I teach and things like that, because I've been there and I've done it and I, and I know both sides, you know, especially, you know, uh, like, yeah, like, you know, uh, I, I love my sister-in-law to death and, you know, and things like that. And she was always there supporting and on the sidelines, but she really didn't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just, you know, uh, but the thing is, is just, hey, it's better than nothing. But like, obviously, as a parent, you you know, you kind of want to like really invest yourself, you know, because then, you know, outside of just the one hour of practice or whatever like that, uh, that that you bring your, your, your kid to like that, you want to be able to practice that stuff at home, you know, with them. And if you don't understand it, then, you know, it is, you it, know, it's a little well, difficult for well, them it, to really it, sell. It, it makes it really hard. <laughs> yeah. Like, I always applaud the parents that come in and start trying to train jujitsu mm -hmm. with their kids so they can understand it. And realistically, mm -hmm. when you look at, look at, you know, basketball, football, look at all, like Steph Curry's dad was Del, was, was Del Curry. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Bronny is LeBron's LeBron. son. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, I mean, not everyone can have a pedigree like that in their family. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you're there, man, obviously your, your, your child is going to, you know, excel and going to be, you know, top one percenters, you know, even if, they if stay. you're average though, yeah. because if you're, if you're average dude, like if you're, like most of the, like most of the big name boxers that we see, mm -hmm. most of them had a dad that was a boxer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you have no like you've never heard of the dude before mm -hmm. at all. Like he was probably a trash hat, mm -hmm. except that he knew what a one two was supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah. so he was helping his son perfect a, the yeah, one two. Not only in practice, but at home. But at yeah, home at also. Home, at home, you know, you have I, positive I, reinforcement, I, yeah. bro. And so, uh, you know, this is one thing I want to bring up because we kind of uh, we, we skirted around it, uh, our last uh, episode and stuff like that, talking about, you know, physical education in school right now. Right. Oh, yeah. Physical, uh, you know, it's an elective, you know, like that. It's uh, man uh, <laughs> like it, that. It really irritates me. It really does irritate me to know that, um, you know, uh, and like me, especially, I remember in high school, <laughs> I remember in high school, uh, I did, uh, <clears throat> you know, I had PE. I always pick PE every year, you know, like that. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but then, hey. but then uh, to get extra yep. and stuff like that, uh, uh, strength and conditioning class was an elective. So you, you could do PE. But then you can also have strength and conditioning, mm -hmm. and I Six remember. Six or seven period. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I remember. I yep. remember uh, freaking. So our assistant wrestling coach at the time, you know, um, <clears throat> he he uh, he had something with the uh, with the counselor, you know, you know like that. Yeah. Hey. You know? <laughs> and so she was a big supporter of the wrestling team. Uh, right? And so I remember going and like, man, I didn't want to do, uh, I, it was like some computer class. I didn't want to do that. So I went to go talk to her and be like, hey, you know, um, coach so-and-so said that, uh, you know, uh, to for us to get stronger and stuff like that, that we need to be taking the strength and conditioning. You know, oh, that's okay, honey. Like that. She took me out of the computer class, put me in strength and conditioning. So <laughs> Heck I yeah. was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like hey, that. that makes <laughs> sense, bro. <laughs> so. it, but, but, and then you had the, because <clears throat> we had like, the government economics teacher mm -hmm. was also the football coach. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it was like, oh, okay, we're not going to do anything today. Why don't you go to the gym? Mm -hmm. Like, like we, oh. Nice. Yeah. Bro, it's, go, go to the gym, work, work <laughs> nice. out. Like, right, no, yeah. 